charge of all things. He's infinitely holy. He's the fault. He's the God, our Savior. And that he is a rewarder of those who still against his name. Amen. This portion here, brothers, I want to talk about intimacy with God on a day-by-day -day basis. 
after he recovered my soul, that's the one thing he planted inside of my soul with some passion and power. Amen. I got to have him every day of my life. All right. And I cannot have an old faith that is a yesterday's faith, like that stale manner that it corrupted after a while. But every single day I need to come to him by faith and say, Lord, show me your glory. It's not enough just to read my Bible. I have to see Christ with some soul-saving power. It's not enough just to say I am forgiven. I have to receive this forgiveness of sins inside my soul until I'm free from sin. And that is a day-by-day speaking of the Lord because faith will bring you into a right But when you and I come to God on a daily basis and say, Lord, show me yourself or I cannot function. I cannot overcome sin. I can't be kind unto people. But when you see Christ, all that changes. And you're free from the inside out. And let me tell you this as a last thing. As a promise, that's from God. It isn't from any man. And this is what he says. He will embrace you. This is what the scripture says in Isaiah chapter 61, verse 3. To console those who mourn in time. If you want to be some people out here that are scared of God over your sin, if you realize that you have transgressed against His law, and there is a day of judgment, and you cannot make yourself righteous, He will console those who mourn over their sins and their inability to please God. And He will give them beauty for ashes, of the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for a spirit of heaviness, that they, that they might be called trees of righteousness, and the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. And the essence of this word from God is that I come to him broken and utterly worthless, that's like ashes, utterly useless, I can't give God nothing. I don't have any improvement I can stir up. I just come as I am unto him for who he is. Yes. And he gives me forgiveness and power and hope and joy and peace and contentment. All right. Not in my possession, but in my possession. That's Christ himself. And so all of us out here that are standing on this corner have an urgency in our heart. It's a love that's been put there by God, and we want you to enjoy him also forever. And I would not be standing here unless he did it inside my own soul. Oh, brothers and sisters, don't ever forget the passion of the gospel is from seeing God in his glory every single day. Amen. 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 Don't pass me by. It's not a work that any man can do. It's a work that God does in a man or a woman to bring them to faith in Christ. And so this is where we stand in our great need. Is not only is Christ available, but I need him. What's up, brothers? But I can't get to him on my own. But the blessing is that God has gave his son up that we might find life and hope in him. And this is why we're standing out here today. Amen.